The Rwanda military is small but that doesn't make the country any less of a military power in East Africa. Despite the military not having much to show off, it has all the machinery needed to light up enemies on the battlefield. In the last few years, Rwanda have been so ambitious in acquiring Russian's air defense system S-300VM. The biggest question is what made Rwanda so desperate for this air defense system. For the longest time, Rwanda has not been a fan of fighter jets. The country has relied on its fleet of less than 20 attack helicopters which includes Mil Mi-17, Mil Mi-25 and Aerospatial Gazelle. Acquiring this air defense system would in some way fill in the void left by the absence of hypersonic fighter jets. This air defense system can counter powerful fourth-generation fighter jets such as Sukhoi Su-30 Mk2 at a range of 400 km away with a 30 km fire altitude. The system is also designed to defeat short- and medium-range ballistic missiles, aeroballistics, cruise missiles, fixed-wings aircrafts as well as loitering electronic countermeasures platforms and precision-guided munitions. This is killing too many birds with one stone. Rwanda being a small country, the air defense system would work so efficiently in protecting the country from a myriad of airborne threats as well as engage targets outside the country. One unit of S-300VM costs somewhere between 120 to 150 million United States dollars. With Rwanda's military expenditure projected to reach 140 million United States dollars in 2022, the country is somehow in a position to acquire the defense system, but on the other side, that would lead to funds deficiency in the Rwanda Ministry of Defense. Things are looking up for the Rwandan Air Force, on a $10.1 million deal, Kigali has procured two Textron C-208X aircrafts, associated spare parts and ground support equipments inclusive of all the necessary modifications to meet Rwanda Air Force needs. This deal is expected to be finalized mid this year. What happened to the acquisition deal between Rwanda and Russia has never been documented. Today Egypt is the only operator of S-300VM with Algeria, being looked at as a potential operator. Does Rwanda need this air defense system? Let us know in the comments section.